Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel, Irish Donna Tarot. My name is Donna Wilder Hart, and I am an empath, a psychic, a tarot reader, and astrologer. So let's get started with your reading. For those of you who have subscribed recently, I'm so grateful for all of your subscribes and shares and likes and um, your comments. For those of you who would like to enter the contest to win a 20-minute phone reading with me, they will be every single month. I'm having a contest to get your name in the drawing. The details are below, as well as my credentials. Uh, I am fully vetted online by independent sources. So let's get started. Thank you so much again to all of my supporters here new on my new channel. All right, so the energy at the bottom of the deck, Pisces, is... A burden is released, okay? Ten of Wands, you have a new beginning. Uh, the Daughter of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. You know, you might be letting go of a job. It shows something that has kind of kept you sort of stranded for practical reasons. But the sun is about to shine. Ooh, the sun card is the happiest card in the deck. All right, let's look at this a really a cool energy. Okay. This is a relationship reading and it's meant for somebody that you interact with regularly. I will read it like a love relationship, but it's for whomever you have a relationship with that you'd like to learn more about. Okay. The mutual energy in the past has been transformation and it's been sort of a struggle. You've had to sort of juggle to get time together. What is the current mutual energy? Ooh, building, 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 learning about each other, working, building this beautiful gossamer web of support for your relationship. It also means that for many of you, you might be in college or school or getting a graduate degree. Uh, you might be working a job and going to school, so it shows a lot of juggling here, okay? Let's see what how your person of interest sees you and the situation. They see the situation as one that is changing and getting better. They see that whatever, whatever these look like they're very work-related. Whatever your responsibilities are, the, some of those responsibilities that made you juggle to get time with each other are transforming. Look at the beautiful butterfly. Six of Wands is victory. It also can indicate the, the new awakening that you might want to become engaged or the, the, that your person may see the two of you building a future together. How they view you. <laughs> Pisces, Pisces. This is pretty funny. Okay. So we get the Seven of Swords energy. And Pisces is very, very observant and very aware of what's going on around them. So when we get the Four of Swords energy, that is Libra energy. You know, Pisces, you view, uh, your person views you as a person who uh, is very aware even though you, you kind of, you have this sort of facade. People don't think you're totally aware of what's going on and you know everything. You don't really miss a trick. That's what this means. You do not miss a trick. Look at that. That little fox pretends to be sleeping and is hearing the whole conversation and sees everything that's going on. And Pisces, you are psychic by nature because you're Neptunian. How your person feels about you in their heart space, my gosh, they just want to pamper you, they want to care for you, they want to nurture you, that pentacle is their heart, you are implanted in their heart like a pacemaker, <laughs> and I don't mean that literally, okay, so, but I do find it really adorable, look at this, look at all these horns, this person's horny for you, they have passion for you. It shows that they want to protect you, nurture you, father you, if you will, that, that they also see that you do that with them. But that's what's in their heart space for you. How they see the two of you moving forward is having a very bright future, a very passionate, uh, hot pursuit, happy, joyful, growth-oriented, emotionally satisfying pursuit of a future. Okay. How the hidden energy in the deck is the Mother of Pentacles. Now, isn't that interesting? Mother and Father of Pentacles. So that's really, um, for the feminine energy in this relationship, it shows that uh, the feminine energy, and I think this is really true most of the time, that in a really good relationship, uh, the feminine voice is very strong, and that's very much a part of what goes on here. The Mother of Pentacles really knows. She's sort of an executive organizer, She's organizing the carpool. She's organizing, you know, the events of the family calendar and so forth. But that, it's a, 
a very, very beautiful sort of role, uh, a practical way of living. I like that. I like the energy a lot. <gasps> Look at you. You're going to end this reading in this in the short term here. We have the um, the world card. You are out achieving. This is a power couple, okay? And the two of you are out achieving worldly success and working on that. And that really lends itself to the transformation, the two butterflies, the hard work that's going on to build a future together. So the world card shows that you're, you may be finishing up a degree, you may be finishing up one phase of your life to go on to the next within the context of this exquisite, beautiful relationship. All right, let's see what the outcome for your partner, how they see it. Son of Wands, time to take action. That's a page of wands in the planning stages. It says like the page is standing at the information booth, getting all the information they need to know how to get to, uh, you know, the next destination on the train. Uh, in Europe, I can think of a lot of cities. You know, if you're in London, you're going to figure out how to take the tube or, you know, how to do the, uh, what is that, that under... I can't remember how people go under the ocean over to Paris. I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, uh, so be it. So there we go. So it really is the beginnings, the new beginnings and the planning stages of the next phase of your life. Beautiful, lovely energy. All right, Pisces, I'm going to clarify because that is where, this is the foundation of a house, but we are about to clarify and that's going to be what the house actually looks like, right? Fully built. Let's see here. How is this week going to develop? How is this week going to develop? How is this week going to develop for Pisces in love? And you know, week a week reading, this could take time. This could take a few weeks later. It could take a couple months. I will say that time is a man-made construct, but this is a beautiful love story that is unfolding. And... Um, so here we go. Why is this transformational juggling taking place for both of you? All right. Both of you look as though you came out of a bad relationship or even money problems. It looks as though, um, you know, a relationship caused both of you some angst and some sadness. Whoops. And there go all my cards. Okay. <laughs> Lots of transformation here. One second while I pick these up. These will be very significant to the reading because that's how that works. Spirit is just jumping into my cards to give me more information about how you came into this relationship. Both of you seem to have come from very stable home environments. It shows that both of you are, oh, beautiful, the emperor energy. Both of you can manifest. Look at this, a repetition here. A repetition, a repetition. Both of you know how to manifest success, even though you had a rough go of it and you know you, you both came into the relationship not knowing if you were ready for a relationship. It shows that both of you are very strong people as individuals. It shows that your subconscious minds are not interfering with anything and didn't interfere with anything. I also get the strength card. Both of you had really clear cut ideas about how to have relationship and how to be happy, what you didn't didn't want. It shows that you are currently very much over the past. You're totally healed from it. It shows that um, some of you may, one person probably hasn't gone back to school. It looks as though what's happening here is one person's going to complete a cycle of career development in this relationship as part of the master plan. So it looks as though between here and here, we have somebody who may be finishing their degree and somebody in the relationship who may be just starting a program of career development. It does look like this wasn't an accident. It looks as though that's just practical application and very wise energy in the relationship to make both of you equal and happy. The Son of Pentacles just jumped out. And we have the mother and the father of pentacles. So there may be talk. I get Aquarius energy with the father of swords. There are talks and plans. Look at this. We have the son of wands again. Part of what I see in this relationship is, in your relationship, Pisces, is a desire truly to probably have children. Maybe one child, maybe more. But again, that's that's been part of the conversation a little bit. Just sort of like, won't it be fun when... You know, how will we how will we manage those things when it happens or and really talking about the joy of that. This also to me means that many of you may have a pet that you treat as a child. And I think that's beautiful, adorable. Let's look and see what this beautiful Six of Wands is like. The Six of Wands oftentimes represents an, an engagement or an impending marriage. 
engagement, success, graduation, promotion in a job. You know, it's it's get rising to the top of your profession. Um, so that sees how your person sees the situation. Is that you are both in ascension, Father of Pentacles again. Again, both of you are taking a very, very strong role of uh, leadership in your own lives. It, it, it's, you are becoming a power couple. And it shows that you're not even, you don't even think of yourselves like that. You're kind of very mundane oriented, humble people. Six of coins, equal give and take. Oh, beautiful energy. Pisces, Pisces, you guys are brilliant. Did you know that Pisces is known to be the wealthiest zodiac in the world? So that is just a stat. I'll leave it there on the table for you. All right. Why is this Four of Swords here? Why? Why does your person see you as so observant? Almost to the point of being tricky. Well, <laughs> they observe you. Pisces. That's so adorable. I love that energy. It shows that you are, you have mental telepathy too. <clears throat> it shows that you know what your person is thinking. <laughs> It shows that even when they try to keep a secret, you really always know. So if your person's trying to surprise you with flowers, they have little tells, little things that they do that give themselves away that are very clever and cute. I love that energy. What a beautiful Seven of Swords energy. Oftentimes it doesn't work out that well. Let's see Jupiter here. We have Ace of Wands, a passionate this is how your person feels in their heart space. They want to nurture you. They have so much passion for you. You are the center of their universe. This is like the sun card with all this joy and passion radiating outwards. It is physical passion, but it means that every day that they wake up, they are joyful and happy to see your face, to see your, the light in your eyes, to see you as the center of their universe, although this is a very healthy relationship. I love this energy. Oh, let's see what else we have here. Okay, well, you know, whatever problems there are, you guys just work it out. That's the truth of it, that you love each other so much that you're going to work it out. You guys are great partners. It looks as though you have a really great relationship here. In the future, we see the future is going to be planned by the energy of the bad bitch, <laughs> the wonderful bitch, badass bitch, <laughs> the queen of wands. She is a person who seems like the bossy little, a delightful, beautiful woman who's busy giving everybody marching orders, and I love her. She's charming, she's beautiful, she's fun, she's full of laughter, but nobody crosses the mother of wands. She knows where everybody should stand in a perfect place for the family photo, the wedding photo. She knows how to organize every event. She's really beautiful, and that is how your partner sees the situation with you. That, you know, at the end of the day, you're a master planner, Pisces, whether you're uh, male or female. It also shows that there's absolutely no fear that you would ever really cheat. There's a lot of trust. Looking into the future, again, really incredible energy. Let's see, why is the mother of pentacles here? Well, this fell out right side up, but I picked it up upside down. All right, so that's a wheel of fortune. It shows that both of you feel like you're in a very fortunate period of time. However, you have made your own good fortune through hard work, planning, and discipline. All right, let's see what else we have. Why is a world card here? What's going on? The daughter of swords, interesting. So that's a, a female page. The Daughter of Swords is very wise, and this is how you, you're you in very much involved in strategic planning. As this week closes, you're looking at the bigger picture, you're looking to see what you think needs to be done, you know, who's going to do what and when. You're, you're actually, this energy sort of links very well to the badass bitch. The badass, 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 wonderful, beautiful uh, Queen of Wands. So I like that energy for you, Pisces. You fire, fiery energy. That Queen of Wands is Aries. It's a sister sign to you. It's right next to you on the Zodiac. And many of you probably have Aries in your chart. Mercury, our moon, ascendant, uh, or Venus. Venus and uh, Mercury only, can, you can only have... Um, Venus and Mercury, no more than 30 degrees or 60 degrees away from your sun sign. So typically you'd have Venus and Mercury either in Aries, 
uh, Pisces or possibly Aquarius, okay? Just a little lesson. Okay, look at this, lots of hot passion. What do we see here? Well, the schedules are colliding a little bit. It looks like there's some, you're, you're really weighing and having a little sort of internal argument. You're, you're weighing the merits, okay? You have five different options, five different ideas of how to proceed forward. And the world card, you're going to make a final decision, it looks like coming up in terms of making decisions. You're weighing your options. And at the end of the week, nine of cups. You're very, very happy with your decisions about your future, your relationship. You've come together. It's so well balanced. This relationship is unlike any others that I have seen since I've been on YouTube doing these videos. It's really incredible. It's so balanced. It's so healthy. This is a relationship that has evolved. This is a relationship that at the beginning had some real challenges to it. Oftentimes I see this as a relationship between younger lovers, maybe somebody's at university, um, that really, really have grown together in a story that's just a, an incredible, beautiful, uh, I, you know, really manifestation of love and life in a beautiful tale woven with love and two people who are fiercely independent and capable of running their life but really choosing to be very close to one another. Pisces, that is your love reading for this week. Thank you. If you like this, please subscribe. Ring the notification button and uh, thumbs up the video. Talk to you soon, Pisces. Bye-bye.